So AgriSearch has been a research provider in this program and we've had a number of projects right across the spectrum from adaptation to climate change to reducing greenhouse gases across the pastoral sector. The one program that I led which finished six years ago was looking at the role of farm management in greenhouse gas emissions. So that was across the pastoral sector. In that project, AgriSearch together with Dairy NZ looked at both dairy farming and sheep and beef farming and looked at how our management practices result in changes to the greenhouse gas footprint from the farm. So the role of the project that we undertook was first to build the understanding of how much of an impact farm management had and the sort of farm management changes that would bring about the biggest differences in greenhouse gas emissions. So it was one, understanding, and then two, using that information to develop tools and develop understanding that the farmers could then pick up and take to use on their farms. So in terms of looking at the greenhouse gas emissions from New Zealand pastoral farming systems, if we look first at dairy farms, what we came up with was the five point efficiency plan. So there were five different areas of the farm that when you implemented those together, you could have significant improvements in your greenhouse gas emissions. What happened next was that modelling was used to inform what's known as the Pastoral 21 dairy farmlet studies. They were run throughout New Zealand. And the really neat thing about the impact from that in Canterbury was that that was picked up by the Lincoln University Dairy Demonstration Farm. That farm implemented at whole farm scale, so 600 cow herd, that exact farm sort of come through from the theoretical modelling into the farmlet studies onto the farm. That farm has reduced its footprint in terms of nitrate leaching was reduced by 25% and its greenhouse gas footprint by 18%. So that was a double win for the environment and maintained both profit and production. When we contrast that perhaps with sheep and beef farms, sheep and beef farms tend to farm where there's a lot more climate variability from year to year and they don't have the same external inputs to the farms. So their changes made only small differences to the total greenhouse gas emissions. And in fact, things like very dry years had a far bigger impact than management changes. On saying that, there were always efficiency gains that farmers could make that would deliver ultimately to their footprint. So if we look at what the benefits to New Zealand are from this fund, well first a great deal of New Zealand's income comes from our farming sector and we need to be both globally competitive and globally delivering what our consumers want. So they are great motivators for our farmers to be know what they're doing in terms of their greenhouse gas emissions and to be able to tell that story because that story benefits not only our farmers but it benefits the whole of New Zealand.